Hi everyone, welcome to our Luxury Home Channel. My name is Mike and today we're in Port St. Lucie, Florida, which is on the east coast of Florida, halfway between Daytona Beach and Miami. We're gonna show you this home behind us, which is built by Coulter. It's called the Whitney model. It's a three bedroom, three and a half bath home with 3,265 square feet of living. And the base price at time of filming is $734,990. Now that is the base price, does not include upgrades and options and lot premium. So keep that in mind. This home does have a lot of upgrades in it. So this home would be significantly higher than the base price. Now we're in a community called Verano. It is a community adjacent to a PGA 54 hole golf course. And this is a lifestyle community. So it has a ton of amenities, everything that you need to do from pickleball, tennis, basketball to a community center. So if you're looking for a lifestyle community for a very reasonable price, as far as what we consider when we've been traveling Florida, this is definitely a community to check out. So let's talk about the Whitney model, which is behind me as we come up. Of course, we have the nice tropical landscaping all the way around the front of the house. Over to the left, we do see we have a three car garage. It's a two car and a single car with some nice carriage lights in between. Really nice elevation with some woodworking on the front or the stucco work that makes it look like wood on the front, but it's all stucco. And then as we come through, we get a pathway that's also paved coming up to the front entryway. The front entryway is one step up. We do have a covered entry, these beautiful French doors in front of us with this beautiful decorative dot glass, and of course a picture window for some natural light above it. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this home. Let me go ahead and close the door behind me. As I enter into the home, the first thing I notice are the floors. The floors are porcelain tile. They're white with a little gray going through it as well. And of course we have the gray trim going all the way around on the entryway. It's a nice size entryway. And the other thing that stands out is when I look over to my left, we have this accent wall with a floating shelf across in the gray colors. And then on either side, this beautiful turquoise wallpaper. It looks like it has some gold in it. And of course the mirror going all the way up to the ceiling. The ceiling is a tray ceiling with some architectural designs. And then the wallpaper that we saw on the wall is also up on the ceiling. Of course, we have this light fixture coming down. As I come in, the first thing I notice ahead of me is gonna be the living room, the family room, and also the outdoor living area. So it's a really beautiful entry when you come in. Over to my right, we have two bedroom suites. We'll show you that later on in the video, but let's go ahead and go and show you the living room first. So as you come over here to the living room, they set this up as a music area. They have a baby grand piano. So plenty of space here if you do like that. Uh, I have some customers that were looking for something like this. So this would be perfect for them. Over on the far side, we have an accent wall with some wood trim. You'll see a lot of light grays and whites throughout this home. So the interior designers definitely like the light grays and whites as you go through. So as I look up, we do have the ceiling as an elevated ceiling with a tray ceiling going all the way from the living room all the way over to the family room with these four beams going across and of course all the wood trim around the edges as well. So let's go ahead and go into the family room and show you what we have here. The family room set up with plenty of seating areas so you can definitely sit here, enjoy a nice conversation or watch TV. And the first thing that I noticed in this area has got to be the built-in cabinet and fireplace right in front of me underneath the TV. We also have the accent wall that matches the living area and the light gray paint on either side of that accent wall with wood trim couple of light fixtures popping out as well. And then above me, we have these beautiful light fixtures popping down from the ceiling. So definitely a good touch. So let's go ahead and show you the next area, which would be the kitchen. So as I come over to the kitchen, the first thing that stands out is how large this center island is. It is huge, not just in size, but also in thickness. The countertop is extremely thick. We have seating for three people here, but you can probably fit a little bit more around here as well. And of course, a couple pendant lights coming down from the ceiling. As I walk around the corner, a couple of things I notice on the center island is first, we have the cool little plug that you just push and comes up and down. And of course, we do have storage even on the center island all the way around and everything is soft closed. On the right or left of the center island, we see that we have some more storage area, plenty of cabinets in this really shiny gray, solid white sur surface countertops. We have a sink here, so this would be a great prep area. And as you're prepping your food, you can look out and see the backyard. So it'd be a really cool area. You can even open this window up and pass drinks back and forth if you wanted to. So as we continue through, we see all the cabinets continue. And then we have our convection microwave and oven. So you have that right there. And then behind this door, which they have as glass, but probably would be solid if you were building one, we have our pantry and it's a good size pantry. So as I walk into the pantry, we have plenty of shelves and the shelves go all the way back. So you have plenty of space here for all your cereals and dry goods. So let's go ahead and show you the rest of the kitchen. So as I come back this direction, close that behind me and come this direction. Let's go ahead and show you this side first. So as I look at this side, we see that we have our dishwasher sink with the faucet 
and of course storage. And then on the other side, we have the drawers and of course everything's gonna be soft clothes. And we have cabinets, the cabinets go all the way up. We have the display cabinets up with the opaque uh, glass on there and LED light fixtures. And in front of me is a five burner stove gas top, electric gas top. And of course the air vent above that. And as we continue, this has got like a solid white backsplash, which contrasts well with the decorative backsplash that we see throughout the rest of the kitchen. So as I come this way, we have a entry going left. So to go left, we have a couple of storage areas where you can put like wine glasses or some plates, and that goes all the way into the dining room that we'll show you in just a second. So let's go ahead and go back and show you the rest of the kitchen. So we have plenty of cabinets continuing to go all the way around, double oven, so plenty of space to do your turkey and everything else that you need to bake. And of course the cabinet's going all the way up close to the ceiling. And then we have our refrigerator freezer combo. Right next to that, we have the cabinets that continue. Now the cabinets don't just stop here, they go right around the corner. Now we're getting back into our family room and a living room area. So this would be a great area for cocktails. So you can have some cocktails set up here. You have a little sink so you can just mix your cocktails and easily serve it to your guests. So as they follow me this direction, we'll see that we have the dining room. So as I walk into the dining room, we go from that porcelain tile to this really nice engineered hardwood flooring and the things that pop out, there's a lot of things that pop out in the dining room. First of all, it would have to be this little decorative area here with the glass shelves like built in so you can put some accents or decorative stuff on either side of the dining room as we enter into the dining room. The dining room is set up for eight people to sit around. Of course, we have this beautiful light fixture above the dining table. And then on either side, we have decorative walls and the walls are done really simple. So this is something like, for example, if you're just watching this video, but you don't have any intention of buying in Florida, but you want to do something in your dining room, they did this little wood trim, just little squares going around. And I think it really made this room just look a lot better than just plain, uh, plain walls. And we have it on either side. And then above us, we have dark brown uh, wood trim going all the way around. And what they did really nice with this is that you come to the far wall, they put it off the wall a little bit going across. So the curtains sort of fold right into that little space in between the wood trim and the wall. I think that did really good in between the windows. Now let's go ahead and show you the two en suites on the front of the house. So follow me this direction and we go right past the living room. As we come by the front entryway, you get to see the view of the front entry. We're gonna go ahead and go left. And as I go left, we have a couple doors. This door is going to be the air handler, and this one's sort of a coat closet. So if you wanted to hang some coats, if you come out the front door, you have that available. So as we come through here, we have two bedrooms to the left and right. Let's go ahead and go to the left first. So we come here, we have the nice plush carpet, little bed, a couple end tables on your side, window on the far side. We have these little seagull decorations going across the headboard. And then we have the ensuite. So we have our own full bathroom. Bathroom's got some nice white cabinets, this beautiful countertop, of course, the sink. The mirror that goes all the way up that's framed in white and a light fixture coming out. And then we have the toilet. Next to that is gonna be the tub. The tub has a tile going up to the ceiling with this cool decorative tile two layers of it going up as well to the ceiling. As we come back out through the bedroom, we have a couple floating shelves on this wall. And then on the far wall, we see that we have a closet. So follow me and we'll go across to the hallway to bedroom number three. Bedroom number three, we have the bed, a couple end tables. This one's all decorative, like aviation theme. So you have this really accurate uh, wallpaper. It's really realistic wallpaper. And of course it's framed with the dark brown all the way around as well. I think they did a good job there with interior designers. We have a window looking out on the front of the home. Over to my left, we're gonna have the bathroom. So we have the full bathroom, nice tile floor. We have dark gray cabinets, solid surface counters, the sink, and of course the mirror that's going all the way up to the ceiling and it's framed in the same color as the cabinets, of course, and the mirror coming out. Over on the far side, we do have the shower. Shower is a frameless shower with the really beautiful tile on the floor and then the gray tile going all the way up to the ceiling with some window for some natural light. Now, if I continue to go out this way, go back this direction, just so you can see, we do have the closet on this side of the bedroom as well. So let's go ahead and go back out. Go on the other side. The other side's got the laundry room and a half bath. So let's go and show you that. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like our video and also subscribe to our channel. If you like luxury homes or looking at interior design options, this will be a great channel for you to follow. So as we come to this little hallway, we have a door. This door goes to a three car garage. Plenty of space for three cars, nice epoxy floor. So it definitely has some space as well for all your vehicles and storage. Behind me is the laundry room. So let's go ahead and go into the laundry room and show you the laundry room. So as I come into the laundry room, we have plenty 
cabinets. These are all upgrades, by the way. So you have the drawers, little folding area, our washer dryer, plenty of storage all the way above the washer and dryer. We even have the white subway tile behind the washer and dryer. This little door is kind of neat. You open it up, doesn't look like much, but this is where you can connect it to your primary bedroom closet. Put your dark, dirty clothes in there and make it really easy to come out to your laundry room. We'll show you that once we are over in the primary bedroom suite. The storage continues to go around. We have plenty of countertop going and of course that subway tile going all the way around. Cabinets all the way up to the ceiling. And of course we have a sink here as well. So next stop is the half bathroom. It's right here to the right. As I come into the half bathroom, we do see that we have the white cabinets, solid service countertops, and of course the sink, a little mirror with framed light fixture above it, and this beautiful tile going all the way up to the ceiling as well. So let's go ahead and take you to the primary bedroom suite. Now, if you are looking to buy or sell anywhere in Florida, Georgia, or Tennessee, make sure you give me a call. Myself and my partners work all those states. Uh, we could have a lot of experience and knowledge in real estate in those areas. Um, you can reach me at 407-487-3030. You can call or text, and also my email will be below in the description. So here we are to the primary bedroom suite. Right through this door, we go from that porcelain tile to this nice engineered hardwood. This is a nice size primary bedroom suite. Plenty of space here. King size bed, a couple end tables, even a sitting area over on the far side. The accent wall behind it with the wood and also trimmed in the dark grays with the light white with the white wood in between. As I look up, we have the elevated ceilings with a tray ceiling, plenty of woodworking trim with crown molding and a little extra wood trim around it as well with this light fixture coming out from the center of the bedroom. Going through here, we have these barn doors, dual, dual barn doors on either side that slide back and forth. Another really nice feature, if you notice, is that the tile is also all the way around the door frame. So come on in and let me show you the primary bathroom. So we have a garden tub right in the center. Right behind that is this huge shower. The shower itself is a got chrome frame on the top. The side doors are frameless. We have a pebble type stone flooring. And then of course the solid white tile going all the way up with this really nice accent tile and sort of like a olive green color going all the way up as well. So follow me this direction. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, primary closet. And the reason I'm laughing, Haley turned off the light as she leaned over filming there. So here we are in the primary closet. We have the center island with plenty of storage. Then of course this beautiful countertop as well. This is a nice size closet. Yeah, it's got lots of space here. So plenty of space for everything. And then that little secret compartment that I was telling you about with the laundry room. You just open this up, you put your dirty laundry in there, probably even if you want to bring your clean laundry back in, you can put it in there as well. And that's nice and convenient. So let's go ahead and go back and show you the sink areas. So I come back through here. We have two sinks. front of me, we have a set on the other side. So let's go ahead and show you side uh, instead of that one. So as we see, we have the really nice white cabinets, beautiful countertops, sink, mirror that's framed in that same white color, couple light fixtures coming out on either side of the mirror. And behind me, we do have a water closet as well. The water closet has some really nice wallpaper all the way around. So follow me this direction. Let's go ahead and go back out. Now, as I go back out here, you get to see the window looking out on the pool area and the beautiful day and the tropical landscape we have out there, but it's better to actually go out there and check it out in person. So follow me this direction. Let's open up this door, the sliding glass door and go out. So as I come out, of course, the first thing we have is this tile going throughout the outdoor living area. We have a living room set over here to the left. Over to the right is the dining area. So let's go and show you the dining area. Currently set up for eight people as well. So you're all set if you want to come out here on a beautiful day like today and enjoy dining outside or making a barbecue. We have you know, a sink, this really nice countertop, of course, refrigerator and barbecue out here, all set to go. You have your little summer kitchen. And then if you wanted to just enjoy the weather, you come out here, we have the lounge chairs, all the tropical landscaping all the way around, some palm trees, and of course the pool, which is big enough to do laps back and forth. I have a couple little uh, water fountains over on each side. And over on the far side, we have a sitting area with a fire pit right by the stairs coming into the pool. And then right next to me here, we have a tanning shelf, which also has stairs going into the pool. And 
right in front of me is gonna be the jacuzzi. It has a really big jacuzzi, plenty of space there for plenty of people to hang out if it was a little bit cooler. So just imagine being here. It's a little piece of paradise here in Florida. So if you're interested in getting more information about this home or this community or any home in Florida, make sure you give me a call. My phone number is 407-487-3030. You can call, text anytime. You can also email me at the email in the description. So thank you all for watching. Until next week, talk to you later. Bye-bye.